Hello, everyone. I'm Jessica Sell, Senior Officer of the International Development Office at UIC. I'm so pleased to give you this briefing session. My briefing session will include why choosing UIC, the programs you can apply for 2023 intake, how to apply and available scholarships. So before my presentation, I'd like to play a video from which you can get a clearer picture of what UIC looks like and feel. It is a journey where you explore your intelligence, skills, and potential to become inspired, to think outside the box, as well as to express yourself. Face the challenge and work hard to achieve your goals. To carry on these disciplinary studies in science. Appreciate all Chinese and Western culture to develop, to innovate, and to excel. It is a forest that has many paths. It is a round table for different fine speech. It is inspirational, diverse, and integrated. At UIC, create your own university life. Start here, go anywhere. Okay, that's the um, pro promotional video of UIC. Okay, UIC is the first higher education institution jointly founded by Beijing Normal University and the Hong Kong Baptist University. UIC was founded in 2005. So after four years study, you can get two certificates. One is graduation certificate of Beijing Normal University, Hong Kong Baptist University, United International College. And another um, certificate you will get is the bachelor degree from Hong Kong Baptist University. So this is our president, Professor Tang Tao. He is a mathematician. He is a member of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, chair professor. And UIC is located in the beautiful coastal city of Zhuhai in the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Great Bay area. Zhuhai was one of the first places where modern Chinese met Western culture. UIC showed us the historical mission of advancing the internationalization of Chinese higher education and taking the lead implementing liberal arts education in China. So here you can see the two campuses of UIC. On the right-hand side is our phase one campus. On the left-hand side is our phase two campus. It's still under construction and uh, phase two campus will be completed in 2025. In the future, our phase one campus will focus on humanities and social sciences. And phase two campus will focus on science and technology and graduate education. From this PPT, you can see some pictures of our dormitory in phase two campus. It is apartment style dormitory. Two students stay in one room and two rooms share one living room. In one apartment, it has two individual toilets and bathroom. So on each of the floor, it has one common study room, one laundry room, and etc. So UIC, just as I mentioned, locates in Zhuhai, Zhuhai locates in Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area. The Greater Bay Area consists of Hong Kong, Macau, as well as the Niper River Delta municipalities, covering a total population of 17 million at the end of 2017, as one of the most open and economically vibrant regions in China. The Greater Bay Area plays a significant strategic role in the overall development of the country. The development of the Greater Bay Area is not only a new attempt to break new ground in pursuing opening up on all fronts in a new era, but also a further step in taking forward the practice of one country, two systems. So UIC now has cooperated with the local government agencies and institutions to support the development of various fields, including computer science, artificial intelligence, for safety, elderly services, culture and creativity industries, sports planning, and more. Many UIC professors advise in external institutions 
on development in various community related areas. So our mission is to develop a liberal arts college dedicated to producing well-rounded global talents. And our tuition fees, except musical arts program, the tuition fee is 100,000 RMB per academic year. For musical arts program, it's 120,000 per academic year. So the dormitory expenses for two bathroom is 6,000 are 6,400 RMB, and for three bedroom is 4,000 RMB per academic year. So you will stay with a uh, USC students or two USC students in my room. So USC has an international staff with lecturers and professors from more than 30 countries and regions. All of them have studied or worked abroad. Many faculty members come from the world's top universities, providing students with the best academic resources and advanced teaching methods. The college has attracted many tip top scholars who together have notched USC into the nation's top 100 in the concentration of high caliber talents. And USC enrolls students from Chinese, mainland, Hong Kong, Macau, Taiwan, and overseas. And USC now has four faculties of schools. So we have Faculty of Business and Management, Faculty of Science and Technology, Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences. School of Culture and Creativity, School of General Education, and Graduate School. Faculty of Business and Management. This faculty is the largest faculty at USC. It offers an integrated business education that embraces up-to-date international curricula, the adoption of interactive teaching and learning methodologies, and the application of academic knowledge to professional contexts. Currently, we have following, uh, we have this kind of majors. So FBM has over 3,200 undergraduate students and over 100 teaching faculty members. So who are recruited internationally with relevant doctors or master's degree, as well as professional qualifications and extensive industry experience. The faculty focuses on developing students' ability to integrate theoretical knowledge into practice. To achieve this aim, the faculty emphasizes the delivery of interactive teaching and learning. Besides lectures, in-class group discussions, role plays, case studies, and oral presentations, the faculty organizes many students' development activities outside the classroom, such as field trips, internships, career talks, professional talks, distinguished guest lectures, and conferences to enhance students' academic knowledge and professional skills. Business leaders and executives are often invited to give talks at a high table dinner, as well as in seminars and forums. FBM aspires to not only equip students with effective communication, presentation, analytical skills, but also build their self-confidence. The Faculty of Science and Technology offers nine honors degree programs. FST provides comprehensive professional training for students while attaching great importance to their all around development through social consciousness and self cultivation. USC focuses on its teaching and considerance, research, and integral components of ensuring academic quality. USC has been selected for the high level university development plan of Guangdong Promise and has also been funded by the university. Innovation and Enhancement Projects of Guangdong. Our staff members have received many types of research funding in national, provincial, and municipal levels. Here are the majors provided by Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences. So graduates with Humanities and Social Sciences degrees are highly employed in a broad range of sectors across business, government, education, and international organizations. So our degree offers a holistic training that gives students skills of communication, creativity, and critical thinking, and inspires and prepares them for leadership. We work on students to, from diverse backgrounds to discover and develop their talents. Here are the majors provided by School of Culture and Creativity. The School of Culture and Creativity aims to offer a comprehensive, transformative, and multidisciplinary approach to the studies of culture, media, design, and creative industries. So with in students and staff from all around the world, USC creates an internationalized campus environment 
and introduces students to different cultures. As of 2022, UIC has established partnerships with more than 60 higher education institutions from various countries. So which provides opportunities for students to travel and experience foreign cultures and education. So UIC students, including international students, they can study or exchange abroad for one semester during their four year study. So in about 74.5% of the graduates from the class of 2021 chose postgraduate studies home and abroad, 81% of which were admitted to the world's top 100 universities. Many of the graduates have started their careers in Fortune 500 companies, government agencies, or nonprofit organizations. So there are also alumni listed in Forbes 30 and 30. Here are some photos of our activities. So for international students, we always offer traditional culture activities, such as calligraphy, traditional food making, flower arranging, tai chi, candy crafting, planting, and etc. Here are some pictures of the food in the Zhuhai and the Canton area. So now I'd like to share a video about how do our international students feel and say about UIC. I think UIC is really cool because it's a lot of opportunities to integrate me and like myself and other exchange students, a lot of Chinese students get to know each other and um, explore our differences together, but find common ground to integrate together. UIC is an educational center that gives students a chance to learn China and all of its cultural aspects, including traditional music, traditional dance, history, and geological region travel and historic The environment of the city is really awesome. We have a new here. I know the technology in the classroom. And the teachers are highly qualified. We have a video machine to be here and the best time was to I think of UIC as the same crowd when I went to the club there, and they had so many different organizations there to participate in every club. We spoke to was so passionate about what they did, um, whether it was the outdoor club or the fashion model club. Everyone, everyone was really, really dedicated to their craft. Okay, now I will talk about, uh, about scholarships. So, UIC offered uh, limited scholarships. We offer full entry scholarships, which is worth 100,000 RMB, and 30% entry scholarships, which is worth 30,000 uh, RMB, and the government scholarships from, edu uh, from Guangdong Department of Education, which is worth 10,000 RMB. So for scholarships, UIC adopts first come, first served policy. So if you want to study at UIC, up until now, we still have uh, some scholarships. So please send us your application documents and we will. Uh, uh, reply to your email within one or two days and then we will arrange interview and then um, within two weeks we will give you feedback about the interview results. So if you want to apply to study UIC, you still have some time. So before June 30th, send us all your application documents. So here list some of the general college admission requirements. We do accept IB diploma, GC qualification, Cambridge pre-U diploma, BTEC, SAT qualifications, AP, ACT, and uh, extra, extra um, diplomas. And how to apply? So just as I mentioned, please prepare all these documents like graduate certification of high school, all your transcripts, two recommendation letters, personal statements, passport copy, language certification. If you are from non-English speaking countries, you need to provide TOEFL score or else score. For TOEFL, we need 79 tonight's based or else score 6.0. So our application deadline is June the 30th every year. Uh, you can, um, send these documents to us via two methods. The first one, you can send all these documents to is at uic.edu.cn, or you can go to UIC website, you can go to International Development Office, you can uh, apply, you can click apply now button, then you will, uh, you can uh, complete the application form and upload all the necessary documents. So let me see whether I can share the link with you here from, from this. Here from this page, you can see it's um, our international uh, students application uh, website. You can click apply now. 
then you go to this page and then you need to register first and then you can sign in to complete all the application system. Uh, let's, let's go back. Okay, so now I'm showing some of the, some of the pictures of our chemistry scenarios. So here are some pictures of our learning resource center, which is our library. And here is the inside of our learning resource center. And here are some pictures of our sports complex and the sports park. I will be very quick, Saskia. No problem. And student area. And here are some pictures of our dormitories. And here are the, some uh, contact information of UIC. So this email is just as I mentioned, it, you can prepare all those documents and then send these documents to is at uic.edu.cn or apply online. Both ways are fine to us. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jessica, for your presentation and for representing United International College here today at the uh, Global Admissions Open Day. So if anyone is interested in finding out any more information or needs to contact them or would like to apply, you can see all the information here on the screen. So take a screenshot or it will also be available later on our YouTube channel um, or you can also send an email to Global Admissions and we can send the information to you as well.